The California Military Department's newest recruit is over 60 and far exceeds the height and weight standards. These tanks are coming from Camp Roberts, about a four and a half hour drive. The tanks themselves are really heavy. We're talking about 55 tons, 32 tons, um, which equals out to about 108,000 pounds for one tank and about 60,000 pounds for the second tank. The two artifacts that were being delivered are or is a M60 A3 uh, M110 howitzer. The significance of the M60 A3 was that it was the main battle tank for the U.S. Army, the 149th Armor Battalion, part of the California National Guard, was the ones that utilized them. And the uh, M1110 howitzer was utilized by the 144 Field Artillery. My role with the USPFO, I'm currently running the historical program for property management. I'm in charge of the federal artifact management for the state. We have a total of 96 pieces currently, most of the macros. Um, it's, it's an amazing job being able to capture these historical artifacts, restore them, place them, put them out there for the, uh, for, the for the California Army National Guard to see. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome being able to put these historical artifacts in a place like this where these California Army National Guard soldiers can see every day, have a little bit of the history there. Um, and be able to teach that to the young, to, you know, the young soldiers coming in and, and for them to learn and see what we've done here in the past and hopefully here in the near future. Okay, today we received the first macro artifacts to be displayed in Sacramento. Uh, we received an M110A2 8-inch self-propelled howitzer and an M60A3 105mm Patton main battle tank. The tank uh, was used by the U.S. Army and later the California National Guard during the late Cold War period. Uh, it was eventually replaced by the M1A1 Abrams by the, in the California National Guard. Uh, it is a, mounts a 105 millimeter gun, which was state of the art at the time. Uh, the 8 inch self propelled came out of the 1st Battalion, 144th Field Artillery, stationed in Ventura, Santa Barbara, and uh, counties. Uh, it fires an 8 inch uh, round several miles away from the target. Uh, also a Cold War era weapon replaced by uh, more modern systems such as HIMARS and MRLS. Well, for, this is the first building that the military department has owned as a headquarters. And part of it, it was designed was to have a museum component. And these are the outdoor exhibits for that museum. Uh, we will eventually have an indoor museum that tells the history of the California National Guard and we are gonna move forward with that and hopefully later next year, we will have that available to the public. This is, this is Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, all rolled into one. It, it is nice to see that it all came together without a hitch. The weather held off, the, the, it was perfect, there was no accidents, everything went the way it was planned. Uh, I can't say enough about Mr. Ivan Romero from the United States Property and Fiscal Office. Uh, he was the logistics behind all this, securing the contracts, getting all the permits to move this. Uh, without him, we couldn't have done this. And this was a great day for the California Military Department.